One of the big things that I've seen change here in terms of customer service, and are you Singaporean? You are, okay. Is the customer, not the service provider. I mean, yes, that's changed and there's technology change and all of that competitive. But as much as Singaporean customers were already a bit like, a bit entitled, now they've become very entitled. <laughs> and it's a problem. Because in the world of customer service, there's two words. One is service, that's the service provider. Their job is to take action to create a valuable experience for you. That's their job. But the other half of the equation is the customer. And there are things that every customer can do to be a better customer, to make it easier for the service mm. provider to serve you, to demonstrate respect and appreciation, to be well prepared, to be flexible when necessary, et cetera, et cetera. And yet, if the customer shows up and goes, I'm the customer, it's your job to serve me and I'm here to judge you, then we've already got a, a tension, we got a problem. And I've seen that change. So a lot of times people, what's wrong with customer service in Singapore today? And I say, it's the customer. <laughs> okay, now I'm telling you that. Yeah, go ahead, give it a clap. And I'm telling you that because in this room, we've got 120 active customers. And the next time you're served by a grab driver, by a bus driver, by somebody in a store or whatever, are you gonna be the one that just takes that moment to give them like say, you know, you've got a great smile or thanks so much for taking me today, or excuse me, but could you help? And at the end saying, I really appreciate it. You know how rare that is for the service providers? And it can make a big difference. Thanks for watching this video. Your dedication to serving better and caring more makes the world a better place for everyone. For more uplifting ideas, practical insights, and free resources, please subscribe now.